Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Kippers. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the time today, we're gonna to go over an updated experience at Wendy's because I really give you guys an updated experience besides the one that I posted a long time ago. Also, I am back because I just finished my college semester and I'm done my exam, so I am back on my channel. So the first thing I want to talk about is the understaffed problem. When I first started working at Wendy's, we basically had enough people for every single position at my job. But slowly but surely, people started to quit, people got fired, and now we're becoming understaffed. We don't have that many people covering shifts. One thing about Wendy's is that you will always be busy. Nobody really applies for an application. The line is always long every single day, but nobody applies for an application. That doesn't make no sense to me. From my personal experience, we became understaffed. Staff. It's been a lot on us. I updated on a different position. I went from being the fry guy to being the grill guy, basically. I transitioned from that and it's been very, very difficult just because it is a lot of more work than dropping fries and nuggets in the fryer. You now have to drop grilled chicken, gotta drop all kinds of stuff. You never want to run out of anything because it takes a while for things to actually heat up and be ready for the sandwich makers to make stuff. Also, I'm gonna drop a little list right here or what the grill people do, what they drop, and what does the fry station drop? Grill station. Fry station. Y'all see the difference? It's quite a lot. Once you get used to working at the grill, you will basically have it all down. So that's my experience working the grill. Now let's get into working the fry station. Working the fry station, you drop chicken nuggets, you drop french fries. My personal experience is that fries will be sitting out there in its little corner waiting for it to be picked up and put it in a bag. And sometimes it takes a while and the fries get all cold and the nuggets get all cold and now the food is cold because nobody didn't bag the items yet. But I understand because we're always busy. We are short staffed. Pretty much my experience working the fry station. I also forgot to mention that the fry station, it does have the timers for the fries and the nuggets. So don't be like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna burn something, you're not gonna burn nothing. As long as you have your timer on, you're good. Now the last thing I'm talking about is my break situation. So, what? Can you mind your business? Bye. So before I was um, interrupted from my little TED talk, what I was talking about? Oh yeah, breaks. So now that we're understaffed and stuff, we don't really have a certain amount of breaks anymore. I mean, sometimes we get like a 30 minute break. A 30 minute break is pretty much the maximum break you can get. Like sometimes I get like a 15 minute break or sometimes I get like a eat and you come back break because we just are understaffed and we're always busy. So we don't really get like a full break. That's pretty much my updated experience. If you guys want in depth of anything I want me to talk about, I surely will be able to make a video about it. Just leave it down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. It's sean.capers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for also getting me close to 100 subscribers. We're almost there. I appreciate y'all so much. And I'll see you guys next time.